What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. This week has been one of the craziest weeks of my whole life. Like, if you told me I was going to have a week like this two weeks ago, I wouldn't have believed you. Yesterday, I got punched by Francis Ngannou, <laughs> who is the UFC heavyweight champion of the world. And then three days ago, I got followed by Tony Hawk, which is like been one of my inspirations for my whole life ever since I even went to the skate park the first time. So. Yeah, I just want to do this update video for you all because I got a bunch of footage from both things and uh, yeah, I just thought why not throw it all into one video. So to start things off, let's start with the uh, story with Tony Hawk. So about a week and a half ago, I got a text message from Ricky Milnick who is the Nitro Athlete Manager on tour. I'm actually living in his house while I'm on tour with Nitro Circus. but uh, And he asked me, Oi, do you want to go to a Bob Burnquist contest? Like it's a private contest, they're filming a competition for uh, Brazilian TV and I'm like, yeah, of course I want to go. I've never seen his like backyard set up. He has a full mega ramp in his backyard and it was insane to see. Plus he had like stuff that I've seen from like my childhood, like this half pipe in his backyard. He has a full pipe and then he had like a spiral jump, like the craziest stuff. Like think about our wheel land, but like what it would look like in 10 years after I've done all these videos and made crazy stuff. So I was like, yes, I'm gonna go. I never thought I'd be going to ride because I thought they were gonna have the contest. Like I wasn't sure if Bob would let me ride on a bike because I don't see anyone really riding a bike there. So I brought my bike, but I didn't have any pads. I didn't have like my proper helmet and I just like didn't have like the proper riding shoes, which is huge for me because it's so hard for me to ride in new shoes and I just had like slip on vans. And I was, so I was not expecting to ride. But then sure enough, I get there and Bob's like, the first thing Bob's asked, asked me, is like, yo, like, did you bring your pads? Are you gonna get in on the session? I'm like, oh no, no, like, I'm just gonna leave it to you guys today. I was like, but, but then he was like, let's get a session in like later on. I'm like, well, oh, like epic. I can't wait to do that. I can't wait to watch the contest today and then I'll come back and ride. But sure enough, we uh, watched the contest they, and they, they first session the step up and the step up was the thing that like caught my eye straight away. I was like, damn, this thing looks sick. I've never rode anything like that. And it's like a 20 foot step up, but when you jump it, you like, it like sends you perfectly up the step up. So I watched them ride it and they were absolutely smashing it. They were doing the hip. Oh, and I didn't even mention this, but Steve-O was there as well because I hit him up and I'm like, oh, are you gonna go to this? And he said he wasn't going. I was like, oh, dude, I can get you tickets. So I got Steve-O tickets and I'm sitting there with Steve-O and he's like, oh, what do you think? Do you think Tony's gonna show up today and ride? And I'm like, oh, I don't even know. Like, is Tony gonna come? And he's like, oh, I'm not sure. And then next minute, Tony Hawk shows up and I've never met Tony Hawk in real life. Like I've been so close to meeting him. He was at X Games, obviously. He was at Nitro, both the Nitro World Games, and I just never met him, even though he was like so close to me. So this was my moment to meet Tony Hawk. And uh, they had just finished the step up contest. So like Bob's chilling, Tony Hawk's like sitting down from us, and I'm like, oh Steve, I'm gonna go, like, I'm gonna go, this is gonna be it. This is me meeting Tony Hawk for the first time. So sure enough, I walk up. And I'm like, dude, I meet Tony Hawk. He's so nice to me. And I'm like, like I think that he, I think he kind of knew who I was. So that was like kind of cool. And I was like saying, what's up? And then I was like, oh, Bob, like, can I still hit it? Like, am I allowed? Even though they've started the contest, well, they started the contest, like the whole thing. It was over all the different events. So they finished the step up. They had a little break. And so Bob's like, yeah, dude, you can do it. And then I'm like, okay. I literally ran to the car, grabbed my helmet, grabbed my uh, bike and then started riding back and I'm like, oh man, this is gonna be pretty gnarly. Like, I'm not sure about this. I don't have any pads on, but um, I was like, I gotta do it, I gotta do it. So I get back to the step up and I like put everything on, my helmet on, I'm walking up and as I'm walking up, I see Tony Hawk pull out his phone and I'm like, oh dude, this is crazy. Like, Tony Hawk's gonna film me on his phone? Like, what does that even mean? And then, uh, so I get up the top and I don't have any clue what speed to do. So I'm like, Bob, like, what do I do? He's just like, oh, I'll probably just roll in. Like, it's pretty similar. Like, skateboard, they just roll in and they make it, like, pretty perfect. So I'm like, okay, I'll probably just do, like, one pedal at the top and then I'll be sweet. But then I'm like, Tony Hawk has his phone out. Like, I'm not going to just straight jump it. There's no way I'm just straight jumping it. i got to, like, flip it. 
So I'm like, hey, I'm gonna fronty it. So like, everyone's filming, Tony's filming. Like, it, it was pretty sick moment because everyone's like, oh, what's gonna happen? Like, I don't think any BMX has hit that step up before. So it was kind of like, what's gonna happen? So everyone was watching, and sure enough, right, I dropped that's in enough. Enough. and stomped it first try on the front flip. And I think like, I don't know what they're expecting, but people were like, oh yeah, sick, like you made it. And they're like, I guess I made it look too easy. So I was like, okay. I was having fun at this point too. It like felt amazing to jump. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go up. Second jump, drop in, do front flip, no hander. And like, it was a pretty, it was, it was a good no hander, so I was stoked. And then I'm like thinking like, Tony's still filming at this point. I'm like, what can I do like that's gonna be crazy? Like what, I, this is like a once in a lifetime thing. You gotta like, capitalize on this moment. So I'm like walking up and I'm like, you know what? Like I could maybe double flip this. Like it, it, it's gonna be gnarly. Cause the thing is like the jump sets you perfectly, but you have to pop like a fronty I can pop up. So I'm like, maybe a double will work. Okay, I'm gonna send a backy. So I do a backy and like I do it the first one and they're like, oh your head was pretty close. They say like a foot. And I know that when I do a double, I don't pop as much. So I'm like, okay. I need to pop higher. So I drop in second back foot, pop high. Like I am above waist height, above the ramp. So a good three foot above. And then I'm like, okay, so this is, this is it. Like I could do this. I'm going to do this. And, and the, uh, the point that I was like, I'm going to just huck it. I told myself that was when Tony Hawk climbed up like the ramp that I was launching off to get like the close up fisheye shot. I'm like, okay, this is it. I'm just going to do it. And I'm either going to like clip on the way up and just eat it. And then uh, he's, it's still going to be funny because there's still going to be footage. And, you, <laughs> and so I was like, whatever, this is it. I'm up the top. I'm like props and all the kids. I'm like, I need energy. Because there's these groups of kids and they were like stoked that I was hitting it. So I was like, all right, I'm going to just grab this energy from these kids. Get the positive energy flowing. So I props okay. them up. And this. then I'm chilling up the top. I'm like, all right, let's do this. I'm just going to send it. And yeah, sure enough. I drop in and like, I don't know, like I knew I had to pull off a lot because this thing, it's like a fly out jump, you know? So I'm like, I, I'm gonna have to pull hard because this isn't gonna be a slow double. It's gonna have to be a quick double even though it's a massive jump. So I'm like, go in, wow. drop. And I'm like, I try to I try to pop a little bit but I have to huck so much that I don't. I don't like get that much pop. So I'm flip and literally through the whole pool, I was just like as tucked up as I could be to do this fastest double flip. And lucky I was, because I literally was probably three inches, if less, from hitting my front wheel on on the up, or like on the ledge that you you pass over. So I almost did like a double backflip, bonk front tire backflip, and I like landed slightly turned to the right. And guess what's to the right? A 28 foot mega ramp quarter. So I didn't want to fly off that thing, otherwise that would be the worst. But sure enough, I stomped it. Rolled away, like ran into the end of the 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 quarter uh, mega quarter top, and yeah, everyone was super stoked, and it was actually like it was a surreal moment because I was like, it was just like make or break. I knew I was just gonna send it, and then like I went up to Tony after, and like we were chatting, we were watching the the video back, and he was like, oh, did you land it? Like, because he couldn't see from his angle, but I was like, yeah, 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 rolled away, it was sick, and uh, yeah, there was heaps of people there though, that which made it epic, like. Christian Hasoy, he was there and he's like an OG like legend skateboarder and he was super stoked so it was just kind of a surreal moment like definitely one of the top five moments of my whole life was definitely that day just to send it in front of Tony and then he even put me on his uh his story and he followed me so man shout out to Tony because that's just blown my mind because I've been watching him since I started going to the skate park. But yeah, I watched the rest of the contest, it was epic, and uh, there was just basically competitions on each thing. There's comp on the step up, comp, comp on the step up hit, and then comp on the gap, on the rail, and the dudes like were launching to grind, like it, it was insp inspirational for like our Willy Land to see all the stuff there. But um, Bob ended up landing like this insane trick uh, at the very end, like it took him like 10 tries, but everyone waited around, like he was gonna give up, but everyone kept cheering, and then he ended up landing it. So, that day, hands down, was one of the top friggin' five days of my life. So, moving on to the next story. The next day, I went and hung out with Tanner Fox, and uh, if you don't know Tanner Fox, I'm sure you do. YouTube star, professional scooter rider, like really good at scootering still. It's good to see him riding scooter still, because I, I was like, 
when he first started even doing YouTube or even before that, like he was just had a little grom down at the skate park. So it's sick to see him still riding even though he's like had so much success in YouTube. We filmed a video together, which was epic. It was like getting people in the streets to do um, tricks for money. And he had like $2,000, which was crazy. And we just went around and like, some people actually landed some tricks, which I was quite impressed by. Like this dude tried to tail over two stair there and like crash, but you'll see his video, it was epic. But then moving on to the next most epic thing, I went and hung out with Francis Ngannou. Like I'm a huge UFC fan, so this was really special to me. And he was actually super funny, so I got a lot of clips with him, um, saying some funny stuff, so I'll just throw that in real quick and you can check that out. But here's some of just the highlights of of the day with Francis, because we did have a proper camera in there and we did film a little bit of stuff, so I'll just throw in a little highlight reel for you. Uh, Ryan Williams, which is a uh, pro BMX uh, rider, so we're gonna have some fun, uh, mostly on my fear, because I'm not doing a BMX. Too small for me and I'm too heavy for that stuff, so forget about that. <laughs> Jumping with Francis! <laughs> I've never really been thrown a punch, so that's what I'm keen to see. Really? You gotta show me. So what happened when you were at school? I didn't even get in a fight. Your sister was watching out for you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. No, it's too nice. What well, you, you can't really talk back to him because... <laughs> Bro, he's sweating way more than me. And I'm hungover. Maybe that's why I'm not sweaty. <laughs> your I mean, I'm doing it, alright? I've never done this before. This is my first time, be gentle. <laughs> oh, I checked it. Uh, There's so my leg. He's in the same distance. Yeah, don't just... <laughs> Headbutt. <laughs> but I think you're ready. Let's do the thing. <laughs> I don't think I'm ready, but I'm ready for the gun. You're ready. ready gun. Let's go. I'm ready to go. Let's just get into it. Far out. Right, I'm not ready. Who are you talking about? Yeah, we're good. Yeah. It's about as hard as he punches, right? I'm ready. Francis. Done. You shouldn't have shown me those moves before. What are we doing? Heidi. Ah! Oh! Ah! Ah! I know your weakness. It seems like that was that was your weakness. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You good? Ah. Who put the helmet on? I could have slipped out if I didn't have the helmet on. It's the helmet's fault. We'll do the body shot challenge. The body shot challenge? You Why am me. I wearing this? Let's go. Now just real quick to camera, how did it go? <laughs> Just a little bit harder. Yeah. Your turn, mate. You need like you need your brother for backup. <laughs> that was all? It was that all you get? Ah! Oh. Come on. Man. Far out. I'm gonna break my hand. Oh. I thought you were a boy. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. He's got something under there. What's in there? It's a pad or something. Oh, my wrist. Oh. I thought you were a boy. Hey, I gotta train more. Oh, wow. that's, that's after 30 minutes. Give me a week on the heavy bag, and then we'll run it back. That was awesome. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh... Dude, my mind is blown. I couldn't, I can't punch, I don't know. I felt like I was punching all right, but if I punched any harder, I was gonna hurt myself. I think I beat you in the dance moves. It's super weird when you're punching someone as hard as you can, they're like, you little boy. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Guess I am. Can't really say I'm not now. How did I do, it was, uh, was all right? Uh, not bad for a girl. <laughs> <laughs> all right, but thank you so much. I mean, 
Thanks. At, le at least you chose your sport. You yeah, know, I so. chose the right sport. I chose yeah. the right sport for but sure. But it was fun though. Thank you for doing it. Thank you. Thank you for... <laughs> Alrighty, so I hope you enjoyed that footage. Obviously, Francis is such a nice guy, and it was actually so epic to like meet him and uh, hang out with him and get punched by him. So uh, probably the most honourable punch I've ever received. If there's anyone I want to punch me, it's probably the UFC heavyweight of the world. <laughs> But that's gonna be it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed this like little update. I really, I couldn't film at Bob's because it was a competition. And then the other filming with Francis is actually for Willy's World on tour, which if you haven't seen, it's on the Nitro Circus YouTube. It's epic, we've done four now. So go check those out, they're incredible. It's like the behind the scenes. It's got a lot of the people on Nitro Circus and now it's got a lot of Francis and Garnu and a lot of stuff behind the scenes. Cause I know that you guys love that and uh, they're trying to like capitalize on that and try to get you some like, up-to-date footage from Nitro Circus, so make sure you go check out that. But that's gonna be a wrap for this video. Man, that was one of the most insane weeks of my life, and it's still going. Like, I've got uh, plenty of time here left in the USA to do crazy stuff, so if you can think of anything more I should do, like, I'll probably go film more with Tanner, and hopefully some more UFC people. Like, I actually, like, enjoyed fighting, so it was pretty cool. And if I could go just hang out with Tony, wouldn't that be sick? But I hope you all enjoyed this video, and if you did, smack that thumbs up and if you wanted me to keep doing these update videos like more personalized videos then let me know if you enjoyed it because hey this is really easy sitting here talking to the camera or talking to the, you all on YouTube because I love you all and I want to bring you along with all my journeys I go on and that's what I try to do here on YouTube so till my next video peace out have a good one see you there